All right, here's the problem. This thing is awesome. Let you connect to pretty much any Leslie speaker in existence. I spent a bunch of money on it back in the day. And I set it up here in my studio to do some recording. Here's the rest of the studio. Uh, do some recording of the Leslie. The problem is this. Listen to this. That thing echoes through every mic in the room. I'm just tapping it. And part of the, it's not just the loudness of the latching switch, but it's this thing. It's like a freaking drum. Not even so bad up here because the metal's a little tighter, but here it's like a drum. So we got to fix that. That's what I'm going to do. All right, I popped the cover off. I didn't show you that. It's only six screws. It's super easy. Not a whole lot going on in here, but we need a quieter switch. Number one, I got one. I'll put the link here. It's a, uh, this is a three pole double throw here. We're just gonna use two of the poles like that one. But listen, super quiet. It was like 15 bucks though, kind of spendy, but it's worth it if it quiets this thing down. The other thing I'm gonna do, I'll show you in a sec. This is a sound deadening liner. It's kind of like Dynamat, supposedly a little better. Um, it's really heavy, and I bought a couple sheets of it off Amazon. And I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to line our little drum head here with as much of this stuff, and maybe even the cover, to just kill some of that kill some of that resonance when you click on it. So between a nice quiet switch and deadening the deadening the little panel here, I'm hoping we get it better. Stand by. Just a quick lesson on these switches. This is a two-pole double throw switch, and basically when you throw the switch. It connects these or these, depending on how the switch goes. I'm replacing it with a three pole simply because it's the only one that I could find. Here's the, uh, you can take a peek at what this is just in case you want to look it up. Um, pretty hard to find. Um, this is a three pole double throw and you can just use, you know, you can just use the six lugs there. You don't need to use, you know, all of them. Um, and it, by the way, if you want to hook up an LED or something to that later, you could probably do that using the other poles, but it's important to get it the right way because this is kind of square, so it's not obvious. So I threw a multimeter on it just to make sure I knew which direction was the right direction. And it turns out if, if the label is facing this way, it switches in the same direction. So I'm just gonna pop those six wires off and put them onto uh, probably the bottom six lugs here. Um, and then that should just, that should just rock and roll. Okay. Some football, I'll mute it here. Got this all set up. Got my soldering iron going here. And I'm going to desolder all that. By the way, pro tip, take a picture of that shit so you know exactly which wires go where. All right, hold on. We're shooting this with my phone, so sorry for not showing everything. But I just cut the wires off, and I'm going to go ahead and lay that sound deadening stuff on there before I punch it back through that hole. That'll just make it easier. I can put a big square piece there. All right, that wasn't too bad, um, as long as it works once I plug it all back in. I got all that swapped in there. Don't make fun of my soldering job. I'm a bit of a heck. But I got all the, the sound deadening stuff. You know, I didn't totally get anal about it, but I just used what I had. And that should, it makes it a lot heavier too, which I think is good. All right, I'll put it back together and we'll see what we get. All right, all back together. Let's see how loud it is. Not bad. And the other one was way louder. All right. Well, let's see if it works. If it works, I think we're good. All right. All right. I think I managed not to screw this up. It's going. Nice and quiet. You can barely hear the damn thing. Oh. Nice. Excellent. There you have it.